Hi guys, welcome back to Matt Chat. This is episode number 7, which covers yet another of the greatest games of all time. This week we look at The Sims, a game published in the year 2000 by Electronic Arts and developed by Maxis Software. That's Will Wright's company. It's the same company that brought us the uh, incredible hit Sim City, which I hope to cover in a future episode. Uh, now, the, Sim, uh, the Sims, though, is, uh, remains one of the best-selling games of all time for the PC platform uh, for Windows, and Macintosh has been published uh, for several platforms, but uh, tremendous sales, particularly among women. It's estimated that some 50% of The Sims' fan base is female. It's a very interesting uh, aspect of this game. What is it that appeals, what is it about this game that appeals so strongly to women uh, when so many other uh, popular games uh, don't seem to be able to stretch across that divide. Um, I think it's primarily because this is a game that doesn't involve violence, uh, you're not killing things, you're not conquering things, um, instead you are nurturing. Uh, the <laughs> basis of the gameplay is you, you, that you create a family and from then on you uh, cater to their needs, you try to make them happy, you buy things for them, you build things for them, you uh, try to uh, keep them clean, tell them to wash their hands after they go to the bathroom. Uh, so there is a sort of a mothering aspect of this game, and I think that might um, explain at least part, partly why this uh, title has appeal beyond the uh, traditional hardcore uh, male gamer. Um, even though this is a best-selling game, you may not have heard of it. Uh, again, it's not a game that seems to attract much mainstream media attention, especially from the hardcore uh, community. I think that's uh, rather sad because there are many aspects of this game that I think have uh, very broad appeal. Uh, the way I see it, there's at least three ways to enjoy this game. Uh, one is um, as a sort of a virtual pet. Uh, so what I mean by that is it's, uh, it's fun to create a family and then watch them take care of their needs, uh, see if you can make them happy. There's even a sort of role-playing aspect to it. Uh, you can teach, you can uh, have your sims learn new skills and that increases their earning potential among other things, so, so that's fun. Uh, another thing that's fun is the uh, virtual dollhouse aspect. Uh, what I mean by that is you can clear land, you can uh, build houses, expand a house, you can buy furniture, and uh, do all of these things, uh, lamps, uh, so there are all these sort of uh, environmental things to consider uh, that make the game uh, lots of fun. And finally there's uh, what I can only describe as a sort of ant farm appeal. Uh, what I mean by that is it's uh, really fun to set the stage, if you will, to uh, set all this up and then uh, roll, the, roll the game, start the gameplay, and then uh, watch how your sims respond uh, to the, uh, all these different variables that you have under your control. So it's a very flexible and dynamic game. Uh, by the way, my name is Matt Barton, and if you haven't heard of me, I, would, uh, I really wish you'd go back and look at some of my earlier Matt chats. In brief, I'm the co-author of Vintage Games, uh, a game about uh, influential games from starting from uh, Computer Space and Pong all the way up to uh, Grand Theft Auto and the latest Final Fantasy games. Uh, I'm also the author of Dungeons and Desktops, a game about computer role-playing games, and I'm uh, the co-producer and um, co-director of the upcoming feature film Woot, The Video Game Revolution. Uh, that's a, a very exciting project that we're uh, working on. Okay then, uh, without further ado, let's play The Sims.
The Sims was an instant hit for Electronic Arts and Maxis Software, selling millions of copies, eventually replacing Myst as the best-selling game of all time for the PC. Uh, all told, there's been some 16 million copies of this sold, and that's not including the sequels and the multitude of expansions. When the game begins, the first thing you, you must do is select a property, a starting house. Uh, some of these have families already prepared for you, pre-made pre families, or you can create your own. Creating your own family can be fun. You get lots of options here. You can change their, uh, the appearance of your family members. And you can decide if they're going to be children or adults, and uh, their skin color, their sex, as well as a lot of uh, personality options. Of course, the later expansions would greatly um, add to the list of features here. Once you've created your family and decided where they shall live, then you can start playing the game proper. Uh, first thing you should probably look at is their needs. Make sure they're not hungry or uncomfortable. Uh, these needs, some of the sometimes the Sims will take care of their needs on their own. Uh, for instance, if they're tired, they might sit in a chair. Um, other times, you will need to tell the Sims what to do, and they may or may not listen. It all depends on their personality and their mood. Another aspect of the characters are their jobs, job skills. Uh, these range from cooking to creativity. Uh, there are ways you develop their skills. You can have them read books, you can have them play the piano, you can have them paint pictures. Um, all of these things will be useful to them when they start their careers. Uh, they'll actually be promoted faster in their jobs. Of course, another fun aspect of the game is having your sims interact with each other. And they talk with a language called Simlish, and I'll let you hear that. Mm -hmm. Can uh... <laughs> you can't really understand a simlish, of course, but the pictures in the bubbles will give you some idea of what they're talking about. And uh, also, con talking and dancing and kissing and all of these things also help build relationships uh, among the characters. Here's a good example here. I can see that he wants a chair. I built a chess table there for him, but he can't play chess until he has a chair to sit in. So I need to go into buy mode and select one of the <laughs> countless chairs. All of these chairs have slightly different stats, and then they'll be able to play chess together. One of my favorite aspects of this game is just that there's so many different things you can build and lots of uh, animations that go with them. So here I've created a little swimming pool and <laughs> my Sim family will soon be quite popular. A lot of this game seems to be based on the much earlier game Little Computer People uh, where you also had Sims or, <laughs> or Sim-like beings that could do things like play the piano for you, play games uh, with you. Uh, here I'm having my one of my one of my characters play the piano, and eventually that little blue bar will fill up, and she'll become more creative and be able to get a better job. More, the better the job, the more money I have, uh, the more furniture and <laughs> all sorts of gadgets I can buy for the house. Now you could play this game for days, if not weeks, and not see everything, and that's not even taking into consideration all those expansions. I should also mention that this game is a, is in real time, so that as long as you're not in building mode, uh, things are happening, the clock is turning, uh, your, some of your sims will go to work and come back, and things happen while they're at work. See, uh, one of my sims has been promoted at his job. Good news for me. Uh, there in the corner we have a little split screen showing them get back from work and school. Uh, so there's always something to look forward to in this game. Uh, there's always that what's going to happen around the next corner, uh, what, what's going to happen when I buy the new, the bigger TV or the swimming pool or they get another skill point. So it's very like a role-playing game. It's like a construction kit. It's There's just so much you can do. It's just so versatile. Uh, there's really no wonder why it was so popular. And that's all for this week's Mad Chat. See you next week.